Credit. What don't people realize is a complete waste of money. Brand new MacBooks when they already have a MacBook. Brand new MacBooks when they already have a MacBook. I have a MacBook that has outlasted several other laptops. It runs faster, boots faster and holds a charge longer than my wife's 3 month old laptop. You get good value from a MacBook over time. Edit, summarizing responses. 60% Mac users saying yeah. That's been my experience. 40% enraged Windows slash Linux users berating me. Not a huge waste, but when someone buys more of something they would normally buy, because it's only a little bit more expensive, and you get twice the amount. I had a friend not long ago who wanted some coke so instead of buying a can for 80p he bought a 2 LTR bottle for PS1. Cool. You only paid 25% more to get 600% more coke. But you still only drank the equivalent of what was in the can, so you're an idiot. I feel like there will be bigger ones in this thread. Even if you do drink more, it's not always the best idea to fill your body with sugar just so you can get your money's worth. Designer anything, just because of the name. If you're buying, because of the name maybe. But some name brands do have higher quality. If I was climbing a mountain I'd only use a name brand coat like North Face or Arcteryx to make sure I don't freeze my eyes off. Still there's clearly brand, because the brand is good and brand, because you are an idiot with expensive taste. 99% of people in Boston could get the nicest coat lines Bean or Columbia makes for well under $300. Have it for the next 10 years and they'd be snug as a bug in a rug. Instead people are buying $900 Canada goose coats and getting zero additional utility out of it. <laughs> buying anything on sale, because it's on sale, when you don't actually need or want it anyway. But hey, it's on sale. But I can't afford to not buy it. My GF does that. How am I saving money when I'm spending more than I wanted? Star Wars Battlefront 2, the newer one. But how will you get a sense of pride and accomplishment if you don't buy it? Does anyone remember Webkins? I'll never regret the 20 plus Webkins I had as a child. Only 20 plus? Scrub. Buying coffee or breakfast in the morning. Often you're waiting more than 10 minutes in line anyway. And you're paying out the ass. You can buy coffee and eggs almost anywhere for dirt cheap. And you'll always save money compared to that greasy mess you get at fast food places. Don't tell me how to die. Skins and League of Legends. Carrot, but I still spent, carrot, at least $200 on them already. I actually like stuff like that. I can play for 100% free. But I can customize the way I look and support the company at the same time. I'm at no obligation to purchase anything. Because the initial gain is free. And it will not help me succeed in the game anyway, but let's be honest. No skins no wins. Agree. I have spent more time playing League than any other game I ever bought. Giving something back to the devs is the least I can do. Carrot <laughs> M-I-C-R-O-T-R-A-N-S-A-C-T-I-O-N-S. But they are useful for feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment. There it is. Gaming laptop. I bought it for when I travel. Only to quickly realize two things. First. I don't travel to game. So it gets very little use per trip. And two. It's heavy. Small laptop plus old games or light indie games is the way to go. Two words. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Pretty much everything I needed for a baby. A diaper genie. Cat proof crib netting. A full wardrobe. Breathable bumpers for inside a crib. A baby monitor advanced enough to control a drone. Honestly. It's barely a market as much as it a shakedown. Pretty sure this is why my brother has so many kids. So they can keep reusing that stuff. This made me laugh. Okay. This cost me $30. Right now. That's $15 per child. If we have two more. Totally worth it. <laughs> Racing drone. The thing is a killing machine. Carbon. No safety. 100km slash h maximum speed in 1. 5 seconds. I spent 7,000 Norwegian krona, about $1,000, with the goggles and everything. I almost hit a car. I did hit myself, and destroyed my jacket, best case scenario. Could have gone way worse, and almost hit my son. It just lies in the cabin now. Looking at me condescendingly. Edit. K. 
km slash h km slash t is norwegian my bad 100 km slash t maximum speed in one five seconds holy hit 100 km slash t maximum speed in one five seconds ever thought of selling it to amazon or the like one minute after purchase confirmation your parcel has been delivered successfully this thread is making me feel better about dropping $40 on two expansion packs for The Sims this past weekend. I did that to a ha ha ha. That's funny. My girlfriend told me about that all weekend about how good this discounts were. <laughs> Ralex watch. Saved 4 years and took 8 months to find the right one. I had it for exactly 1 week before it was stolen. I love the watch but won't be buying another one. It's very risky. Regret it. Edit everyone seems to be asking it was stolen. Basically I was mugged on a night out. Shouldn't you insure expensive jewelry for this exact reason? Was in the process. Only had it a week. Was going to add it to my home insurance. I invested $6.000 of a private loan in Bitconnect. Not my brightest moment. Oh. Oh god lol. A $240 paintball gun. Started slaughtering all my friends, and after a couple weeks we all lost interest in playing. Now it just gathers dust. If $240 is your worst purchase, you are doing really well. My wife spends $240 at the hair salon and her hair looks exactly same. But I'm expected to comment on it. Looks good. It's UHH, slightly darker. A CPU. I bought it for my, now, ex-boyfriend. Turns out it had a lot of bent pins. So it's a doer and should be returned. While I was out. My ex decided to straighten the pins out and put it into the motherboard anyways. It did not work out of course. The shop wouldn't even take it back as it was used and I couldn't prove that it was already damaged on arrival. 200 euros down the drain. I had a friend call me over to help his PC build. When I got there he put CPU in wrong smashing pins. I straightened them out and it somehow works 4 years later. It's really hit or miss. I was having RAM issues, computer only recognized 4 out of the 8 gigs I had, and I tried every possible method I could find online. Finally took out the CPU. Noticed bent pins. Straightened them. And it's been working fine ever since, over a year ago. <laughs> Gym memberships you no longer use. I try to go 3 times a week. However I missed my last 1200 sessions. And when you finally go there to quit. They bring out Mariah. <laughs> Detox products. But don't you want to get rid of all those toxins in your body? What's a toxin? You know. Toxins. No 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 no. Pounds of toxic sludge. <laughs> Eating out for lunch every day instead of packing one. Never fails to amaze me how much my coworkers spend per week on lunches. Insane. I do this. And I definitely agree it's a huge waste of money. But it's also an escape from the boredom and monotony of the workplace. Trading money for mental health. Edit, I work in an industrial area. Next to a quarry and a heavy steel fabrication plant. So eating outside is loud. Dusty. And smelly near my building at the picnic tables. I'll pass. If I eat in the car. I have to either have the ac or heat on most of the year. Meaning the car has to be running. And idling is just wasting fuel and hard on the engine. Not to mention the crumbs. Nah. And to go to a park or something. I have to drive about 5 miles minimum. I might as well drive to one of the restaurants that's near. It's not necessarily true. But it really feels like my options are eat at my desk and save money. Or go to a restaurant and get away from emails for 40 minutes. I usually choose the latter. I saw an Anian article a few months back that stuck with me. Its title was, Man Brings Lunch From Home, To Cut Down On Small Joys. I thought it was very accurate. <laughs> daily Starbucks. Oh. Trust me. Some of us daily Starbuckers definitely realize it's a waste of money. But. The thing is. We don't care. Somehow their drinks are like crack to some people. Can I ask why? I love coffee. But don't find anything special about Starbucks at all. And given the price I tend to constantly avoid it. Although I only drink Americanus anyway. So I figure their selling point is the other stuff on the menu. <laughs> Name brand drugs like Tylenol instead of the generic acetaminophen. 
the generic store brand is usually much cheaper and contains the same active ingredient, especially OTC sleep aids. About $10 for 25 pills. In actuality just diphenhydramine, generic Benadryl, which you can get in bottles of 600 for $4. OMG. My favorite version of this is the Squill Bull Hit. It's the same hit as the generic Benadryls, but in a stupid green liquid gel. The amount they upcharge for that is comparable to highway robbery. <laughs> CS. Geoskins. Yeah my friend got a knife on his first case, that gave him $500. Never got another knife, after using all 500 of those dollars on more cases. I was about to say you could get a real knife with that kind of money. And then realize that would be a massive understatement.